Hello, my name is Joshua Mugabe. I welcome you to Chemistry Water Resources. Which of the following is not a freshwater resource? Which of the following is not a freshwater resource? River, groundwater, ocean, none of the above. The answer is ocean. Ocean water is not a freshwater resource as it contains 97 percent salt thus it is unsuitable for drinking or growing crops the upper level of groundwater is called the upper level of groundwater is called water cycle, water table, aqua cycle. None of the above. The answer is water table. The water table refers to the upper level of the groundwater. At this level, the rocks or soil are perpetually saturated with water. Which of the following does not help in replenishing groundwater? Which of the following does not help in replenishing groundwater? Deforestation. Increasing population, industries, all the above. The answer is all of the above. That is deforestation increasing population and industries. A substance causing pollution is known as a substance causing pollution is known as Pollutant, water table, hail, none of the above. The answer is pollutant.
pollutant is a substance that harms the suitability of the resources. Water exists in dash states. Water exists in dash states. One, two, three, four. The answer is three. Water exists in three physical states, solid, liquid, and water vapor. Which of the following is considered the purest form of water which of the following is considered the purest form of water rain water ground water Glacier water, none of the above. The answer is rain water. Rain water is considered the purest form of water as during vaporization impurities and salts present in water are left behind. However, rainwater we get not certainly pure as it carries down contaminants and particles from the atmosphere. Which of the following is the largest reservoir of potable water? Which of the following is the largest reservoir of potable water? Ocean water. Ground water, river water, none of the above. The answer is ground water. Water covers nearly 71% of Earth's surface. Of these, 96.5% of water is present in the ocean, whereas 3.5 is fresh water. 2.5 of fresh water is present in form of ice in glaciers and available to use. Well, as 0.75% of water is present in the ground as groundwater, and the remaining water is present in river ponds or lakes. Thus, groundwater is the largest reservoir of potable water.
World Water Day is celebrated on World Water Day is celebrated on twenty first March, twenty second March. 21st June, none of the above. The answer is 22nd March. Water vapor is dash phase of water water vapor is a dash phase of water solid liquid gaseous None of the above. The answer is gaseous. Which of the following indicates the presence of groundwater in the soil? Which of the following indicates presence of groundwater in the soil? Moisture, wetness, both A and B, None of the above. The answer is both A and B, that is moisture and wetness. Crawlination of water makes the water. Crawlination of water makes the water. Dirty. Crawlinated. Jump free. None of the above. The answer is jump free. We add crawling to drinking water to kill bacteria, viruses, and parasites. The pernicious effect of proline relies on the water pH, proline level, contact time, and temperature. How much water is present in the human body? How much water is present in the human body? Sixty five per cent, seventy five per cent. 
95%. None of the above. And the answer is 75%. Our body contains 75% water. However, it may vary from person to person based on multiple factors. Which of the following indicates the state, solid state of water? Which of the following indicates the solid state of water? Rain, snow, water vapor, all of the above. The answer is snow. The process of seeping water into the ground is known as the process of seeping water into the ground is known as filtration infiltration Both A and B, none of the above. The answer is infiltration. Infiltration occurs when surface water passes through soil. It is an essential process that recharges the underground water. If underground water is not replenished sufficiently, it will lead to water table depletion. Which of the following is not responsible for water scarcity? Increasing population. Heavy rainfall. Deforestation, all of the above. The answer is heavy rainfall. How much water is present in the Earth's surface? How much water is present on the Earth's surface? Sixty three per cent, seventy one per cent. 97% all of the above.
The answer is 71%. Which of the following causes water pollution? Disposal of unwanted sewage into the water. Disposal of untreated sewage into the water bodies. Disposal of untreated industrial waste into the water bodies. Excessive use of pesticide and fertilizers. All of the above. The answer is all of the above. Water pollution is caused by disposing untreated sewage or industrial wastes into the water bodies as it introduces harmful microorganisms chemicals into the water bodies contaminating the water killing the living organisms in it moreover when farmers use excessive fertilizers in the fields these are washed off and carried into the water bodies, polluting them. The process of recharging groundwater by collecting rainwater is known as the process of recharging groundwater collecting rainwater is known as dripping irrigation water harvesting both A and B. None of the above. The answer is water harvesting. The upper layer of the earth's surface where water is found is known as the upper layer of the earth's surface where water is found is known as Water top, water table, aqua top, none of the above. The answer is water table. Groundwater is the most critical reservoir of fresh water. The upper level of groundwater is known as water table.
Hello, my friend. Thank you very much for participating in Chemistry Water Resource. Please do subscribe, like, and share.